for decades. Researchers have studied the Varroa destructor. Yet, many mysteries remain. Why we know that mites are little, feeding from the honeybee's fat bodies and hemolymph? What happens inside their tiny little bodies has largely been unexplored until now. This video is brought to you by Vita B Health. Vita B Health offers a comprehensive range of honeybee health products designed for beekeepers worldwide. By supporting our sponsors, you help us continue producing these educational videos. Learn more through the link in the description of this video. Beekeeping has always been a delicate balance. Humans and honeybees working together to sustain ecosystems, produce food, and cultivate honey, nature's golden nectar. But an invisible war is waging inside each and every honeybee colony on the planet right now, against an enemy so small yet so devastating, the Varroa destructor mite. These parasites weaken bees, spread deadly viruses, and have been at the heart of colony collapses worldwide. Scientists have long sought to understand the Varroa mite's biology, to find its weaknesses and help beekeepers protect their hives. And that search begins under the microscope. Scientists realized that to truly understand this parasite, they need to go deeper. Inside its organs, reproductive system, and gut, they need to reach everywhere. Just as humanity has extensively mapped and understood the human body, leading to groundbreaking medical advancements, both life-saving treatments and, unfortunately and sometimes, weapons of destruction. But how can we dissect a creature just, just a couple millimeters long to reach its insides? That's like performing an open-heart surgery on a grain of rice. Precision is everything. Even the slightest mistake can destroy crucial structures and render the findings useless. Understanding the intricate details of the Varroa mite can mean the difference between life and death for the entire colony. The first step, freezing the mite. Just 5 million in a cold chamber preserve its internal structures. Then, using sharpened entomology pins and precision forceps, researchers secure a mite to a slide. Every move must be calculated. One wrong cut and the delicate organs could be lost. A varroa mite's body is covered by overlapping plates, like a medieval armor. To reach the reproductive system, scientists must remove the genital ventral scutum, exposing the internal organs. Under a microscope, these organs become visible. The spermatica, where the sperm is stored, the digestive tract, the tracheal system, and even the tiny malpighian tubules, which function like kidneys in other animals. This painstaking work isn't just about anatomy. It is about unlocking the secrets of how these mites survive, reproduce, and spread diseases. Varroa mites act as viral vectors, transmitting deadly pathogens like deformed wing virus and acute bee paralysis viruses to honeybees. But how can we stop these devastating viruses from spreading? Perhaps the key lies within the mites themselves, in their intricate anatomy and complex physiology. The more we undercover about their internal structures and biological functions, the closer we'll come to developing a full and permanent solution for beekeepers worldwide. From France to Germany, from the US to Australia, researchers are working around the clock dissecting thousands of mites, running experiments, and decoding their biology. Today's video was made possible thanks to the dedication of experts like Vincent and his collaborators. They have spent years conducting and publishing this crucial research, believing that knowledge should be accessible to everyone. That's why they made this work available without a paywall, and we from InsideTheHive.tv extend our gratitude to them. This knowledge isn't just for science, it is for the beekeepers, the farmers, the people that rely on honeybee health for food and agriculture. Every detail uncovered in a lab helps beekeepers making informed decisions on mite control, reducing colony losses, and ensuring a future of our pollinators. 
Many people around the world today are beginning to distrust science because of the mistakes of a few. Please hold individuals accountable, but don't undermine the value of science itself. The fight against Varroa destructor is far from over, but thanks for tireless research, we are getting closer every day to safeguarding our honeybees. So the next time you see a bee at work, remember, behind every thriving hive, there is a story of science, persistence and hope for the bees, for the future. Thanks for watching. Inside the hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys in the next one.